fools rush in. How old, how old would he be? Elvis, I think he's 80 something. What's the key, huh? Something. What key are you? Are meant to be. Take my hand. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Take my hand. And the school ball. Here's a bond issue. Bonds do eventually retire. But the school ball is not money. We're going to call it a, a no tax increase bond issue. That's not true. It's just it's a word salad. Yeah. Your taxes won't be any higher than they are now with this new bond. If they tell the truth, I can live. I can do that. We get. We need this new bond. Take my picture. This evidence so that Terry will believe you. Jim was in. Yeah. We couldn't get it to sync up. No. And and Jim, when it was just you and me fooling around, Chuck, we, we did fine. Yeah. Yeah, and I went online several times and did it. I played some shit with guys down in Texas and what, New Jersey, and all these people would come yeah. online. It was great, but something about licks. I want to heal me a bow. I want to heal me a lick strap. So I build him a strap out of licks. Along comes a big white bull. The big white bull says, hey, Piddle League, let me in. The big white bull, or the big white bull says, or the Piddle League says, not by the chair of my hitting in hand. And the big white bull says, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll hold your blinds down. The Piddle League still wouldn't let him in. So the big white bull, he huffed and puffed, hold his blinds down, and he ate up the Piddle League. Well, the third one of these Piddle Leagues, he was a smart one. So he saw a man riding another wagon. I know it's a straw bricks. Say, mister, can I buy a straw bricks? I want to help me a bouse. I want to help me a brick straw. So I build him a straw out of bricks, and along comes the big white bull. The big white bull says, hey, Piddle Lig, let me in. Piddle Lig says, not by the chair of my hitting and hen. The big white bull says, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll hold your blouse down. Piddle Lig wouldn't let him in. So the big white bull, he huffed, he puffed, he hold his blouse down. But he couldn't. Couldn't hold his blouse down. Yeah. So... The big white bull, he thought for a minute, and he goes, I'm going to out, you know, smart this pit of lick. I'm going to climb up on the roof, and I'm going to chide down this limney. So he climbed up on the roof, and the big uh, the third pit of lick, he saw him do that, and he says, okay, I'm going to go get a big boiling pot of water hotter, and I'm going to put it in the fireplace in case he thought it comes down. Sure enough. Here comes that big white bull sliding down the fireplace. He hit that water, hot water, and he goes, ouch! This is extremely painful to a wolf's gluteus maximum. So, <clears throat> piddle leg, he went in, got a real narp shy out of the kitchen. He come up, he cut that big white bull open, got his two little brothers out, and the pea little three eggs live heavenly after half words. <laughs> now, good night. Indeed. <laughs> When do you go on tour? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> now, are you the Vince Gomez? Now, here's the thing. I went to this guy that was cl as close to the luthier, and I said, you know, the strings want to go boink. He says, well, you need to up here in the nut.
And he says, I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> it's actually, it's a tea they stuff. They should come up with something, a different name for that. I mean, uh, yeah, really. It's, it's a, yeah, like, well, it's for the nut. But yeah. why did they call it so sauce? It's during graphite or something, anything. But the yeah. Nut sauce. Nut sauce.
I'd practice, you'd oh, go through the songs yeah, every I, day. I, would. I wasn't and, anywhere near that day. But I'd, I'd be playing with the CD, you know, that I had, you know, I'd be playing. So, or tape or whatever we had back then, you know, so. Why not? Oh, Chuck would do it on the YouTube, YouTube, and that's what I, I do that with it, you know, until I can get it. Things have come a long way from the time we left it up the needle. Let me hear that yeah. again. The record? Yeah. In, for sure. Hey, let's just do, let's just do some real easy songs like Louie Louie and go from there. Okay. You know what, you want to do that? I mean, because I think we, you know, put that, that was one of the first the songs we did as the Fugitives. Well, you remember <laughs> Teen Town when they would just play music? Mm -hmm. And they, everybody would line up and uh, yeah. <laughs> girls would stand on one side and yeah. do all this crap. Guys were on the quarter playing ping pong. <laughs> ping -pong. <laughs> and that's when I had, that was the first time, at, well, teen time, sometime down there, I put peanuts in a Coke. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You ever try m &Ms? No, it sounds good. Oh, man, m and pop. You probably did that. Yeah, yeah. I did that. I put peanuts in a peanuts. chocolate milkshake. Yeah. You had blizzards Zickers. before there were blizzards. That's man. right. <laughs> George, George and the original. Story. George and the original. Yeah. What was his little brother's name? Russell. Russell. Did he, he play, play, play the bass? Yeah, he played bass. That was Charlie Russell. Marshall played the organ. Russ Byron. Yeah. Did they have a big? Did they have a Mike Evans was on drums. Organ with the tone box. Yeah. For uh, yeah, I yeah, I think for a while. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Didn't yeah. George when he was singing "Raindrops"? He kicked the amp. That was me. <laughs> that was you to kick the amp and make the reverb look yeah. like thunder? Yeah. That was a big silver tone amp. Yeah. 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 Silver, silver tone. Couldn't afford a twin reverb, huh? No. Yeah. You know I'm going to go one day to get some money to buy you things. And it's worth it just to hear you say, I'm going to give you Oh, she's 